Okay, IELTS friends, let's do passage three. Now, this is a bit strange, actually, because it's exactly the same as passage as passage two in test three. It's exactly the same. It's, it's very weird. Uh, we've got the matching the paragraphs, we've got a summary, and then correct uh, connect statements to these people. So our strategy is going to be exactly the same. So if you haven't done two yet, go and do two, and then before even watching this video, use the exact strategy to, to do three. I'll probably go through this quite quickly for that reason, because um, not much new that I can teach you. I just want to show you that it's exactly the same thing. Right, so let's start. We're going to start with a summary. What are we going to do? We're going to look at the grammar. By collecting the, that shows us nothing. They did, discovered evidence of a uh, so we've got a singular hopefully it's not like the vocabulary one in the last one we're gonna have a singular noun over there occurred when there was less something than evaporation I must uh, stop you there and just point out there's something very important here this verb is very important usually let's let's look at a sentence usually we've got subject and then main verb and when we're looking at the grammar we're looking at the main verb but now i just want to point out that with there is there are there was there were it's an exception it's different the grammar rules are different it's a strange exception in english usually the main verb depends on the subject if this is plural this is have it's if it's singular it's has except with there were there is there are there was there were for there is, there are, there was, there were, you must look at the thing that comes after the main verb. It's the only time you do that with there is, there are, there was, there were. All the other times you look at the subject of the sentence. But with this one, you look at what comes after. There are many chairs in this room. There is one chair in the room. So you look at what comes after. So actually, because this is a there was, it gives us information about what comes after the main verb. That means that because this is was, this can't be plural. If if it if it was if this is plural, then this must be were. There were many people in the room. There was one person in the room. So that means that this must be singular or uncountable. All right, a nice exception for you to remember. I don't see it very often, but it's good grammar to remember. Here again, there was, and then we have singular and extended period. Right, they're looking their uh, records to look at something. Let's try our tests. Look at tree, dog, no, it must be trees, yes. Coffee, furniture, yes. So plural uncountable as usual, the normal situation. And they are also examining objects including... I'm tempted to say this is plural, but it's possible that it can be uncountable. So when you're unsure, just go with with most. Keep your options open. It's possible that it can be uncountable. All right, and that's all. So what do we get here? We only got, we got a little bit of information here, and we got a bit of information here. That's fine. Let's quickly go and find them. What do you do next? Scan. Which paragraphs are we in? We're going to scan for that and we're going to scan for that you should be able to find pretty quickly that we're over there and over there but now the question is um, is it this paragraph or is it E or is it E and F is it G or is it G and H so we should quickly just find that you don't have to but in this case it's quite simple an extended period of drought so you know what a drought is is there anything about drought in here? No, but I do see drought over there, weakening of the of the monsoon. So the drought is here. So it's probably just E. So let's start by collecting. Found the first evidence thousands of years ago. You read it because we might find it useful later. By collecting the something of snails and analyzing them. So this should be quite straightforward. I hope you know what snails are. Um, they collect the something of snails. You can't really paraphrase snails. I guess what this answer was before I even saw it because they're looking at the snails from thousands of years ago. What remains? The snail doesn't remain. Only what remains of the snail? 
Anyway, they're snails, so the researchers gathered the shells of the snails. This is all like adjective, adjective. It's the name of the snail, so it must be the shells of the snails. Anyway, it makes sense. I guessed it before because only the snail remains. Uh, only the shell remains. Great. Quite easy. So that was a plural. They discovered evidence of a change in water levels in a something in the region. Again, you must think about it. A change in the water levels in a. It can be river, it can be lake, it can be dam, it can be well. Something about a place where there's water. A change in the water levels in a. There's water into the lake is likely to have been the summer monsoon, but we observed there was an abrupt change about da di da di da when the amount of evaporation from the lake, blah, 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 blah. So there's the change, but they don't say what the change was in. You should understand there was a change in the water levels where? The water levels in the lake. We're looking for a singular because it's a. Uh, so it should be pretty straightforward. The water levels in the lake changed. I don't want to explain too much about that. It's quite straightforward. This occurred when there was less something than evaporation. So we're looking for a singular uncountable, less something than evaporation. When the amount of evaporation from the lake exceeded the rainfall. So it kind of depends on whether you know this. Exceeded means was more than. So the evaporation was more than the rainfall. That means the rainfall was less than the evaporation. We're looking for singular or uncountable. Rainfall is uncountable. It depended, did you know what exceeded means? It's a good word. So the rainfall was less than the evaporation. Less rainfall than the evaporation. Suggest, so yes, da right, are using to look at they're using archaeological records to look at from five millennia ago. Remember, I always like time periods because you can usually find them quite easily. Five millennia ago. Anyway, they haven't even... I thought they would say 5,000 years, but they just said the exact same thing. So, they're examining the records and trying to understand details of how people led their lives in the region. They are analyzing grains cultivated at the time. Using archaeological to look at something... From five millennia ago so actually the at the time the five millennia ago was that it wasn't that one it was that one and that what are they looking at they're using archaeological records so we can't put that there what is another word for looking at can you see analyzing all right plural or uncountable plural grains it's a good word to know. I see it come up a lot. It's things like rice and wheat and oats, all of the grains that, you, that we eat. They are also examining objects, including something so as to find out about links between different parts of the region. Examining objects, including to find out about links. Oh, I should have pointed out, this doesn't always happen, but it happens a lot, and you should definitely notice it. Sometimes it won't be also. Sometimes it will be something like in addition and secondly, but often it's also. So find the also. In this one, it's right there. They are also looking at, they are also examining what? Whether the types of pottery used and other aspects of their culture were distinctive to regions similar across larger areas. Different parts of the region changed over time. So they're examining what? Objects including pottery and other things. So here's the objects and including pottery. It's kind of backwards. Plural uncountable. Yes, uh, pottery is uncountable. All right. So uh, I don't really know what to tell you there. It's pretty straightforward. For a reading three, it's a little bit crazy if you actually ask me. But maybe you can get something like this in your test. That'll be wonderful. Um, now, remember, we're going to use this summary. I would just read it again before we go on to these. Before we even find these, let's see if any of these are in the summary. So read the summary again quickly. Don't take too much time, really. 
they found first definitive evidence of climate change affecting northwestern India thousands of years ago. Shells of snails, change in water levels, less rainfall and evaporation, extended drought, archaeological records, grains five millennia, agricultural practices, climatic conditions, pottery, different parts of the region changed over time. That's all you need to do. Can you see anything there? Finding further information, environmental conditions is vital? No. Examine patterns of behavior, long-term benefits? No. Rough calculations, approximate length? Oh, what is this? Period of water shortage. What's another word for a period of water shortage? A drought. So we're talking about the drought. So that's in this paragraph over here. It's in this paragraph over here where they mention the drought, the period of water shortage. So that question helped, uh, the summary helped us with this. But be careful, we're looking for two, na two names that are there. Uh, Petri Singh, Dixit Hodel. We've got Dixit over there and we've got H Hodel right next to each other and they're both talking about the drought. So be a little bit careful, don't just guess. You should look at these two and see which one. Um, so let's read that again. Rough calculations indicate the approximate length of a period of the drought. Rough calculations indicate the approximate length of the drought. Source of water most soon abrupt change for when the amount of evaporation no no. So I don't think it's Dixit. There estimate rough calculations approximate length of the drought about 200 years. Great. So Hodel straight away. That means this 39 is Hodel which is D. Um, information about the decline of the has been lacking. Okay, no. So, all right, we got help with one of them. Now we need to do our normal strategy for this. Go and find Petrie Singh, Dixit, Hodel. We found Dixit and, uh, and Hodel, so we need to find Petrie Singh. And please remember, we're looking at statements, so it's the things that they said. That helps us a lot because it narrows it down. Now you need to take a little bit of time, go through it all. Here's Petrie. What does he say? Up to there. I'm actually going to highlight it. I hope the yellow doesn't hurt your eyes too much. Petrie, 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 Petrie. Yes, Petrie's there again. Where does he start? Petrie again, but in this paragraph, doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything. I don't see those speech punctuation, which are called inverted commas. So now we're on to Dixit Hodel, but I suspect we've done that, but let's highlight it. That's what they said. Here's Singh. That's interesting because it's not very much. And Petrie, Hodel, nothing, nothing, nothing. But here's Petrie again. Petrie believes that. So I would highlight all of this, but here's what he says. But he believes that that could be what he says so it's that whole thing so immediately I can see Petrie talks a lot all of that is Petrie Singh only talk only says this one thing over here so we must find see if we can find Singh considering the vast area of the civilization with its variable weather systems it is essential that we obtain more climate data from areas close to the two great cities. And I remember I saw it is essential that we obtain more climate data. Can you see it? Further information about the environmental conditions, more climate data is vital, is essential. So quite straightforward because he only said the one thing. So quite straightforward. I can go with B over there. And then... If you just check, check her, uh, Dixit again, because he also only says one thing. But I don't see Dixit there. Uh, anything that that is about what? It's about evaporation, exceeded rainfall, summer monsoon, drought, lake, water. There's nothing there. Then I would check my time and I, s I would just go AA. Hey, hey. I would just guess, really. The chances are so high that that is A and that that is A because he said all of this other stuff. We we see that it's not here. We see that it's not here. That's Petrie, that's Petrie, 
and all of this at the bottom is Petrie as well. So I would just guess AA. And it turns out, yes, I'm right. It has to be because it's not in the other ones. Anyway, I'll quickly show you where they are. Previous patterns of behavior may have long-term benefits. This was a tricky one. I think it's somewhere here. By investigating all of these previous patterns, learn from the past, that's previous patterns, will have long-term benefits such as administration of water supply, balance of the development. I don't know. There's nothing about long-term there. I think maybe that future is the word long-term. There's no paraphrase for long-term. So I think that's where that one is. The answer is A. I checked in the answer. So yes, I think it's there. And then information about the decline has been lacking. We will be somewhere up here or here. But the fact is we have had little solid evidence for most of the key e elements. There was a single cause. It's unlikely there was a single cause for the decline, but we have had little solid evidence. So that's also A. But really, I'm, I, I would have guessed those because time is so important. I would have gone AA anyway. Great. Then, explanations. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We're going to see we've, we've worked with H. We've worked, we haven't worked with G. No, we have worked with G. That was there. We haven't, we've worked with F, yes. We haven't done D. We haven't done A. And we haven't done B. There was nothing that came from here. So A, B, and D are where you're going to start scanning for these. A, B, and D are where we will start scanning. And what are we going to scan for? Explanations for the decline. Proposed explanations. Reference to a present day application. That's interesting. Present day is now of some archaeological research findings actually that reminds me of something that one reminds me of that one present day applications i don't know if you remember previous patterns of behavior may have benefits for today so i'll come back to that but what they're saying is these archaeological findings can have present day applications the archaeological things can have present day balance of urban development this is all about present day the thing to notice is that all of this is past tense and then only at the end do they start talking about the present so i think that one is really um h but anyway difference between this civilization and another culture a description of some features of urban design that city design discovery of errors made by previous archaeologists so you've got to kind of remember all of those and then start scanning just look back and forth, look back and forth at each one of them. You should kind of read this whole thing. Please notice the but. Uh, so often the but introduces important information. And again, it does in this example. But their lack of imagery when the Egyptians were carving is a part of the mystery. We were looking at another civilization. Difference between them and another culture of the same period. The only time they mention another culture is the other culture is the Egyptians in the same period at a time when. So A, there's no, no real easy way to find it. You kind of had to read the whole thing. Um, but if you kept these five things in your mind, when you saw it, hopefully you saw it. So that means that 29 is A. Let's go to B, archaeological evidence about the rise but little about its fall as populations increased cities were built I, I remember the word urban that was cities baths workshops palaces halls laid out houses were in blocks wide main streets narrow alleyways what was it about cities that they said a description of some features of harappan urban design city design definitely be right then we were going to go and look at D, because we haven't used D yet. Research team, what did they do? They found that many of the sites were not where they were supposed to be. Altering understanding. 
they carried out a survey, they found inaccuracies in the geographic location. They realized that this was fundamentally flawed. So, inaccuracies I remember. Errors and inaccuracies. Previous archaeologists had made many mistakes. Quite confident that that one then is D. So, as you can see, three of the, the three paragraphs that we hadn't used, they used. Now we just need to find these explanations for the decline, present day application. At this stage, I'm ready to guess. Um, here they talk about the present day application. I'm just going to go with H over there. It's a good guess. Now we just need to find some explanations for the decline. Why did they decline? I remember he was talking about the decline over here, but he was also talking about the decline over here. Why did they decline? Streets went unclean. Buildings started. So here's the decline. Fell out of use. Demise means decline. Why? Maybe glaciers changed their course. Maybe the cities could not cope with the population. Maybe the trading economy broke down. Invasion, conflict, and yet others. Climate change. So these are all the possible reasons why this decline happened. So that was paragraph C. And there you go. So it was exactly the same strategy. I don't know what, what IELTS is doing here. They've done exactly the same for two and three. It's a bit strange. Same, same question types, same level of difficulty. But okay, if it happens, then you'll get higher marks. That's great. Right, thank you. Uh, again, once again, comments, in, uh, questions in the comments. Please like if you learned anything from the video. Thank you very much.